Hey, hood folks, what's up with y'all today? So, shit, um, <clears throat> y'all, I was sitting on the couch, I was sleeping so fucking good, and then stinking ass FedEx lady, I never seen a female FedEx driver, I was shocked. Anyway, I was sleeping on the couch, and FedEx came bamming on the door. Boom, boom, boom. I thought it was the goddamn police. I was like, I didn't even do nothing today, police. Mr. Officer, Mr. Officer, can you take the handcuff off of us? I was like, God damn. So she can't be on the door, but she would bring me my camera back that I'm actually recording this vlog on. My, I, Listen, with my camera right here, this red, red camera y'all have seen in a couple of my videos i use this camera right here to record like food virgins and shit like that so um i had to send it back to canon the main factor because when i would record videos the volume was not working on the bitch and so i did all that sending it back to canon and they called me and said oh it's just um user error you got your mute set on on that it automatically goes on mute I said, what kind of fuck shit is that? Why didn't I read and research before I wasted my $11 to send a damn camera back through Canada? I mean, through our FedEx. <laughs> anyway, so I did that last week, and the camera just came today. The they were bamming on the damn door. I was like, hmm. I already was in a bad mood this morning. When I got home this morning, I wanted some buttermilk biscuits. I'm from Alabama, and I'm telling you, if you go back to Alabama, and on a breakfast table, you bound to find, find some buttermilk biscuits. So I got up and made some homemade buttermilk biscuits. And I was like, oh, yes. So I said, okay, while they sit here and, you know, when you make your biscuits, I let them sit and rest for a little while. So I said, let me run on over to Walmart, which I fucking hate, and get me some Blackburn syrup. Y'all, I went there, they didn't have no syrup. Then I went to a fucking Kroger. They didn't have no syrup. I went to another Kroger. They don't have no syrup. Went to this other grocery store in Dallas called Albertsons. They didn't have the syrup. Then some dude was talking about, oh man, I don't eat all. Um, what biscuit syrup? I never heard of that. I always put Ancient Mama or Pancake syrup on biscuits. Who do that, man? What the fuck? Who put that pancake syrup on buttermilk biscuit? So I'm just online. I think I'm to go to the website. This is, I'm on their website right here. I think I'm to go to the website and buy, this is the I'm talking about right here. This right here is a staple. <laughs> this is a motherfucking staple in the fucking country. <laughs> this shirt right here, I'm telling you, if you put this shirt right here on top of your biscuit, you see the biscuit right there? You see them goddamn, come on, zoom it in. Zoom it in, oh, come on, hold on. Don't show out in front of the company now. Zoom, zoom on. You see them damn bits right there? Them bits. Y'all, this is a staple in the country. <laughs> so, anyway, so they don't even, nowhere in the Metroplex sell this. And people on Facebook said there's a couple of grocery stores sell it. So, I don't want to drive all over town looking for some stinking ass um, syrup. And then I don't want to have my mama them to ship me some from Alabama. But I called the manufacturer and they was like, well, we can we'll ship you a case of them, well, a six pack of them. And you had to buy six of them. So they like a dollar and 50 cent a piece. But you got to buy six of them, which is about $9. But then the shipping is $16. 16 So the product costs $9 and the shipping costs $16. I can't believe that bush. So that was that when I called that right there, that that just messed my whole morning up because I got up this morning making homemade biscuits from scratch. If your man make you some homemade biscuits from scratch, you owe him some head. <laughs> but anyway, I was like, oh, I'm so fucking disappointed. So I didn't even eat the biscuit. I did not even eat the biscuit. So. Anyway, so I laid on the couch. Like I said, went to sleep. Those off. I was already in a bad mood. FedEx came bamming on the door, beating the fuck out the door, scared the shit out of me. And then after they left, here comes stinking ass UPS with they old unprofessional ad. UPS so unprofessional because they came and they finally brought me my TV that uh, LG gave me for free. Yeah, I got that. I got this phone right here, the V20. If you ain't seen that video, you need to check it out. The V20 review. But they finally sent me the free TV. <laughs> you see this old? I had to open up. 
I can believe they sent me a free TV. It's a 4K TV too. 43 inches. What that 43 inches? Shit, 43 inches. <laughs> anyway, I can believe they sent me the TV. I was shocked that they sent the TV because I, I, I mean, I got, I, I got the phone last Monday. And I ordered it late, you know, the day after Thanksgiving. So I was, you know how it is, four to six weeks before they send it to you. You got to do so much bullshit. But I was surprised they sent the TV. Kudos to you, Sprint and uh, LG. But anyway, back to uh, UPS. Now, FedEx on that knocking hard shit. But UPS, I was, so after, after they had brought, dropped my camera off right here, I had just sat on the couch and I said, oh, man, I was going through, going through the box. And I heard somebody stomping up the step. Boom, boom, boom. I said, damn, what the hell are they walking to? Then I heard a package fall at my door. Boom. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? And it was UPS. He was worse than FedEx. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, God damn, who is that? I wasn't expecting the TV this quick. I'm telling you, UPS, y'all horrible when y'all ship people shit. About three, two years ago, I had got another TV. It was a, this TV I got right here, this, this big ass TV right here. And it came through UPS. The guy brought that TV up the steps on top of his head. He didn't use a dolly. He just slammed the TV down on the floor like this dude did today. Bust the TV wide open. So I had to call UPS. They had to replace the TV. And they got in their feelings. I'm like, how you know it was us? Because uh, us came and slammed the shit down. UPS, y'all punk summer bitches. <laughs> y'all. You now UPS, you punk summer bitches. That would it stand for. <laughs> I'm just playing. But UPS, y'all a little too careless with people uh, products and shit. So that's all I'm doing today, y'all. I just wanted to show y'all that I got my TV, even though it's already sold. I had to open up to make sure it worked because I already sold it. And this TV calls. I was selling this TV for two hundred fifty dollar, two fifty. And I just looked online, and this same TV. Look at that. This same TV is right here. Look at that. This same TV right here. Let me make this shit big so y'all can see. Scroll. Hold on. Right there. Can y'all see this? See? $497 at Fry's. I don't know where that's at. eBay got $379. This place right here got it $379. So the average price is about $379. But I'm selling it for $250. Am I playing myself short, YouTube? <laughs> shit, I don't know. So whoever bought this TV, if you watch this video, you got you a good little deal with this TV. But I don't need it. I didn't need another TV, so I didn't. I didn't need it. That's why I didn't get it. So that's all I'm doing today. The day is cloud as fuck outside. Look at that. Can y'all see? All right, zoom in. It's cloudy outside. <laughs> and this video is already eight minutes. I mean, I just told myself this video gonna be about three minutes. I ain't gonna have much to say. This video already eight minutes. Anyway, so I'm about to get ready to write out my new video. I got another video I'm gonna put out Friday. This right here may come out Thursday, but I got another one coming out Friday. And y'all, one other thing, I will be doing more food versions. One reason I don't do a lot, I haven't been doing a lot of food versions lately is because a lot of these restaurants are on that fuck shit. They on that bullshit. I go to a restaurant, customer service suck, and y'all, I refuse to buy food from a restaurant and then do a review on their product when the customer service sucks. I watch a lot of other YouTubers make food reviews, and sometimes they go through the dry do, and the dry do people be so rude, and they still buy the food. I be like, no, nah, not me. I'm not giving you my money. And a review, fuck that. So. Hopefully, I can start back on my food versions next weekend. So, if you got any suggestions or anything, you any restaurants you want me to try out, leave it in the comments. And I think I'm done talking y'all to death. <laughs> I didn't even do Vlogmas, but shit, I've been putting out video. I got a Vlogmas right here. <laughs> but one reason I haven't been really vlogging is because my camera been in the shop. Well, been tripping. So, anyway, I'll see y'all on the next video hood folks this is a quick little vlog for y'all hope you enjoyed it comment rate how the hell do you rate a video <laughs> peace y'all